and tech e-learning welcomes you all for another session of virtual reality class in this session we will be completely studying about interfacing imu sensor with unity so what are the particular imu sensor so regarding that imu sensor we will be going on and we will be using the mobile imu sensor of uh, one of the android mobile so from that particular android mobile we will be just installing the app and we will be able to move the particular objects that will be our end task of this particular session and before going to the task we have to know what is that imu and what it deals in a more integrated format inside a virtual reality because on to this particular syllabus itself it is a part of virtual reality that's why we have been worked with imu sensor so now if you just start with the imu it is nothing but known as the inertial measurement unit so inside this particular inertial measurement unit we have many types so like accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer so these three combined into a single device is known as imu sensor so imu sensor can be termed into three different axes okay so one one set of axes like three axes Three axis, six axis, and nine axis. So this three axis belongs to accelerometer. Six axis belongs to accelerometer plus gyroscope, and nine axis belongs to accelerometer plus gyroscope plus magnetometer. So inside our mobile, I can say that all the three are available. So the gyro, accelero, and at the same time. magnetometer so magnetometer it is used for identifying the deflections north east west and south gyro to identify the roll and accelerometer to define the axis so if the you just see that particular imu means uh, you can see it will be definitely in this particular form whatever you are seeing inside that slide so that particular imu many of them might have worked with arduino raspberry pi or many kind of devices So today we are taking the mobile IMU, and from that we are going to control through virtual object based on the axis. So, what are the different types of IMU available? So inside a particular technical part, the fiber optic gyroscope, ring laser gyroscope, and micro electro mechanical system, which is known as MEMS. Inside our mobile, which of the type is available means MEMS. micro electro mechanical systems what are the games we play or our orientation changing so all those types of implementations it is done with the help of mems only what are the major application inside the smartphones so inside the smartphones if you just go for we are supposed to know that a definitely the orientation size or the playing games and at the same time for the tablets so these two are the most important thing uh, which is created with the imu mainly for the landscape and portrait view and interacting with the games for example some games uh, you can use accelerometer they will be providing the options in the settings so that setting data here you have to move the mobile in order to control the virtual object so that is also a part of vr i'm not saying it's not a particular kind of different thing so here on to that particular vr other than that the imu it is being used for fitness tracker because based on the exercise movements and tracking of their position posture for all those things they will be using this orientation parts so this imu also plays a major role over there so basically if you just take this particular fitness tracker means if you just move your hand or if you just move your leg so based on that particular physiotherapical applications so all those particular things it will be integrated with the help of imu so through that particular imu these are the common applications now if we just start to discuss regarding vr plus imu that is the most uh, interesting part so whenever that particular sensor is being rotated 
the cube also will be applied so once when we integrate that particular cube as well as that imu means how it is transferring the data okay so we can transfer the data in a serial model or we can convey that particular all that accelerometer settings into your coding and we can dump it to the main device whichever we need so the device whatever here i have selected means the mobile phone now whenever we are just starting to know regarding towards the imu means we have to know three particular terminologies so those three things are like pitch roll yeah okay so it is completely known as yaw pitch roll commonly they will be saying in that particular format so uh, once whenever we are just working regarding towards this uh, yaw pitch roll means therefore what is that particular yaw pitch roll only with the help of accelerometer gyroscope we will be able to make it up so once if you are just moving for the yaw so i will like to show it in 3d Okay, so uh, hereby I am just uh, taking the 3D shapes for that. Yeah, onto the 3D shape, uh, this will be more perfect. Okay, this is that particular thing I am going to take. Maybe for yeah, for pitch we can change everything. It is for understanding purpose, and for roll we can take this hemisphere. So it will be quite more understandable because without this the IMU sensor is nothing. Okay, first let us start with the yaw. So generally yaw means moving from left to right. So that particular moving movement only we will be able to make it. So for example like this. So this particular function it is clearly known as yaw. Okay, so here I am just ending with zero. So zero is that particular standard degree uh, which is focusing. If I am moving towards the right side means it's uh, in the plus. If I am moving towards the left, it is minus. So this is the exact position of yaw. So once when we are moving on towards the yaw oriented means if you just uh, move from move your head across towards 0 to 180 degree we can just assume it okay so from left to right we can just move it and right to left we can move it this is the best example for your position the same thing if you are going for the roll okay if you are just uh, rotating your head that completely comes under the hood okay so 
this particular direction this particular direction also would comes under no need i think this one comes under the rule okay so this position so this position alone we can consider it as a rule uh, y means this comes under the pitch okay so this is known as the pitch up and down nodding your head as s it can be taken as pitch whenever if you say yes you will just shake your head up and down so that position it is taken as uh, pitch okay and the roll means just rounding it off okay so uh, this is the major part once uh, when we start to implement uh, the yaw pitch and roll inside the imu sensor okay and uh, here i have just said interacting with the particular virtual objects we will be using this imu sensor but moreover to it the most important purpose if you just start with vr plus imu means it is mainly used in the vr box or the virtual reality module like oculus rift htc so all these kind of different different devices we will be integrating those parts the purpose is if you want to view the entire portion okay like uh, wherever inside the 360 degree view with the help of the vr headset means only imu sensor will be able to apply in this particular application okay so no other uh, kind of devices will be able to make it so once when we are applying that particular axis we will be able to know easily that particular movement so inside that imu uh, we have to know that particular uh, direction where the downwards will be always the gravity so how uh, we will be applying it means like uh, there is no uh, proper error mark yeah okay so this position is known as uh, gravity gravity okay so always this is the particular portion of gravity and first all belongs to that y axis z axis and x axis so these kind of implementations only it is completely done with the help of imu sensor and along with that if you are just working over here therefore this complete posture only it is being applied so therefore we will be able to view 360 degree towards your complete environment in all the directions let it be top to bottom and at the same time left to right so like we can also rotate and see the entire portion for that the credit completely goes towards camera but only one object if you are just handling it means that is only focusing on that respective object okay so our next particular task which we are going to start that is nothing but we will first integrate the particular object along with that particular unity and how it is being implemented in a very simple way that portion only we are going to see So like here I have just opened the unity part okay and uh, as usual I have the main camera the direction of light everything I have so 
towards that particular uh, direction of light uh, it is nothing but usual everything knows only for lighting purpose it has been used inside the unity main camera plays a role uh, for virtual reality as uh, usual we have seen okay and uh, therefore within that particular game object i need uh, some plane okay just to hold and see it let me make this plane a little bit uh, bigger now uh, within that particular implementation i also provide q Maybe let the cube will be a little bit bigger. So I am going to create a material because to differentiate the color, uh, therefore it will be a little bit good. So now I am just uh, creating that color. now i'm selecting the portion i've just uh, applied to it so therefore uh, here we have applied all the particular requirements Uh, now what we are going to do means we have to write the script for this so for that script it's a very simple thing i'm going to make it as accelerometer yeah so therefore now this part is ready open the visual studio coding It's getting opened yeah finally uh, we have we are going to use that particular uh, portions like system collections system collection generic and the unity engine so these will be the particular things uh, which we will be applying it Now, here we are not going to use any of the uh, start portion, only update is required. So, rather than update, uh, no other things we are going to use. So, inside this update, how we are about to provide means completely in the form of a simple command. Because where we are going to post this means that particular object only it is responsible to work inside that IMU part. So now I am just providing the transform. So transform dot uh, translate. And within bracket I have to get input. So input dot from where means from the acceleration of the mobile. Acceleration which axis I am going to get means x. So here 
I'm not going to provide for Y. I have stopped it. Now the same thing. Acceleration, the filling must be correct. Acceleration dot Z. So these two uh, particular axis only here I'm going to mention it inside my particular device. Okay, now I'm just uh, going to save it. Yeah. So it is completely saved. Now let us check whether any errors are there. So if errors are there means it will be throwing. Yeah. So error. Very simple. We have not used semicolon. That also added. Okay, now it is ready. Now I am just going to convert into the app part. So go for build settings, switch the platform. Now it has been able to convert into the Android portions. So this is the final process on converting it. Yeah, so hence it has been converted. Uh, now before starting that, uh, here we are just only targeting for the queue. Okay, so drag this particular script and post it in the queue section. So this will be taken for the access and its center over here. Now. Get back to the build settings, click on build. So just provide the name for the app. ACK. So it is being converted into the uh, .apk file using SDK platform and JDK platform of Android Studio.
So now uh, it is about to complete that particular process. And that's the reason in between the audio was not there. So it takes around uh, 5 to 6 minutes to convert this into an app but only for the initial time Yeah, so therefore the app has been generated. Now I'm just uh, taking it to the one of my Android phone. We'll share the screen. So it's being copied. So fine now. So this is a particular app. I have just touched it and uh, make sure like everyone should provide all the permissions to install this kind of APK into your Android so in this mobile everything it is being applied now 
account is opening the app i prefer like this so open it okay so it is being moving so the orientation is keeping on changed so this makes that uh, we have made some uh, mistake into that coding that mistake is the access access part only so what can we make for that means into the studio and add to the minus so this makes more instance functions so compiling the scripts Yeah, so it is completed. Let us build it again. I am going to build it again in the same name. The previous app also has been uninstalled. Okay. about to complete yeah so almost it has been completed Installing it again.
now about to share the screen Now open that app. Okay, so now I hope everyone is able to see. I'm trying to make it stable, but anyway, it's not. Quite speed. Now it's correct. So whenever I'm rotating that particular mobile, the object is getting moved. So this is the way uh, we are supposed to work with uh, IMU sensor in Unity, especially for virtual reality purpose. I hope everyone has enjoyed the video. Thank you all. We'll see you soon in next video.